are you saying that God's on a mission for us to have peace in our life? Oh, God created us to have peace in our life. Mm, there are things so inside of us that God is already ready to click on you if you need it. Now, you might get drained from it. Mm -hmm. It may be the, the, the enemy may try to attempt to pull it from you, but God has it already in you that all he needs to do is touch you and take care of you, but your mm -hmm. relationship with him has to be strong. Welcome back to our channel. It's Billy and Yolanda Jackson here, and we're so excited to be here today. Excited. Excited. So, how you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Always good to see your beautiful smile. Well, 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 I'm well, well. <laughs> Always good to get those compliments every day. Don't ever just assume your wife knows oh, that yeah, those yeah. things. Even though she does, yeah. it's just good to to share that with Say your spouse. It all the time. Absolutely. So I appreciate that, babe. You're welcome. All right, all right. So what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about peace. Okay. And where does it go on some of these days? Well, it can be very challenging. Can okay. I get a witness out there to keep your peace all day long? I mean, the morning can start out great and you got so much peace in your heart and mind, and all of a sudden it just something just disrupts it and you end up in a different place. You know what? I like how you said that because that's just what goes on in your own house. Mm -hmm. Just imagine some of these things that you see going on in the world and it just affects you. But lately it's just been crazy with yeah. one tragic thing and then the next day another tragic thing cancels out what happened tragically yesterday yeah. and it just takes your peace away. And when that happens, you just can't focus on what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. I do believe that in many times that we have to practice mm -hmm. keeping our peace yeah. at all times. You have to. Meaning that it's a skill set at times because if not, you are just like a loose ticking time bomb Ooh, at times. Man, you know how nasty that could be? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you you can have a different attitude with your spouse. Mm -hmm. You can have a different attitude with your children who mm -hmm. are being raised to go out into this world. Mm -hmm. And you can just have a different attitude at work also. I mean, you know, this thing could affect you all kind of ways. You have to control that peace. But how do we do it? Are there some skill sets that we do in the house? Is there some things that you well, do Well, you know we don't like pulling stuff just from the world. Even though we're in this world, we're not of the world, right. which is what we teach. So what does the Bible say, babe? Okay, well, in Isaiah 26, 3, it says, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. Okay. All right? All whose thoughts are fixed on you. Okay, meaning we, God. Meaning God. So mm -hmm. that means our relationship has to be strong because it's saying here that God will keep perfect peace in us okay. as long as we stay focused in him. So are you saying that God's on a mission for us to have peace in our life? Oh, God created us to have peace in our life. Mm, there are things so inside of us that God is already ready to click on you if you need it. Now, you might get drained from it. Mm -hmm. It may be the, the, the enemy may try to attempt to pull it from you, but God has it already in you that all he needs to do is touch you and take care of you, but your mm -hmm. relationship with him has to be strong. That's so reassuring mm -hmm. to know that God's mission is for us to be at peace mm -hmm. within ourselves so that we can be in peace with each other. Right. But in order to do that, you're saying that I have to work on my relationship with God, mm -hmm. right? And I think this is one of those things, I believe there's, this is one of those things Means that uh, you have to trust God. You have to. You have to lean on God in order to receive that peace. Right. Right. right? So right. you you really have to just know that God is going to give you that peace, and you seek Him for that peace in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that <laughs> when things get to bothering me, and I'm having a day, or I have a moment. You know, my energy has to be exuded somewhere. Okay. Right? So if I don't get to talk it out, if you say, okay, I don't want to talk about it right, right now, you know right. our spouses do that to I like to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Give me your space. So so if if he don't want to talk about it right now, I do give him space, right? Mm -hmm. And I start cleaning. Cleaning mm -hmm. is just a oh, way yeah. that my energy can be channeled to uh to so I won't just be going off. Right. Because right. sometimes we just want to feel better right there, right then and there, and not consider the state that our spouse is in. Right, right. Because I know when I come home and take a shower, and I mean, it is spick and span in that bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, my wife done worked it out. Yeah, no. You you should be, be trying to figure out what happened today. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right about that. Right about that. It's, it's important. It's yeah. very important. And, and that's great that you, you did that, Yolanda, because 
you got to find some kind of way to keep you steady. See, God can't accompany mm -hmm. the anger. He can't accompany yeah. the, the wickedness that may come from your peace being lost. Yeah. So you have to find it so God can be, accompany you, be with you, and help you through what you're going through. Okay? Yeah. So when I have those moments, I put the energy into cleaning mm -hmm. as my mind is thinking back on what God says about it. Because right. in the moment... You know, I'm trying to remember, okay, what, what does the word say? What should I be doing in this mm -hmm. moment? So while I'm cleaning, I'm thinking about how I should respond, right. not how I should attack. Oh, wow. A lot of times we say, okay, gotcha. I'm going to give you some space. And then we're coming up with all these things of what we can say, mm -hmm. what we can do right. to, to get back at that person. And that's not what keeping peace is all about. It's not. It's right? Not, so no. how do you keep your peace? What I do is I like to listen to peaceful things. Okay. That's what helps me out. I, I change my music. You know, from some of the things I used to listen to to start listening to some easy jazz or, mm -hmm. or some classical, something that's easy on my head, something I can actually go to sleep to. Okay. You know, okay. that that are just set in my head so I'll be calm and then I can think better. My relationship is a little stronger and, and God, because of my spirit growing stronger from the word, mm -hmm. the word also helps me become stronger in my decisions, mm -hmm. in what I say. Mm -hmm. So so my peace isn't gone. I won't say the wrong things to my spouse. Mm -hmm. That and you, you've come that you a long can't take way. Back. Oh, I oh. would say you've come a long way with that. Well, you know, you, he he says he 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 has this anger that he's been working through, things of that sort. And, you know, we all have had been in those situations where we had that little shouting match kind of situation. Mm -hmm. We've come a long way, right. you know, from that. And yeah. continue, God continues to work on our heart in those areas. He does. He does. And it's important because when you learn to do that, again, Yolanda and I are not talking to you because we went to school for this. Mm -hmm. You know, it was some things that we went through that were testing our marriage. Mm -hmm. But we had to give it to God to help us to get better. And these things that we practice, the cleaning, the music, whatever you decide is mm -hmm. best for you, mm -hmm. uh, help that keep you calm. And that way you can stay focused on God leading you, the perfect peace coming from him yeah. so that you yeah. can be good in whatever you do. So okay? what's another encouraging scripture we can share with them today? I love this one. It's Deuteronomy 31 and 8. It okay. says, the Lord is the one who will go before you. Yes. Okay. He will not leave you or abandon you. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Mm -hmm. God knows you get afraid. Yeah. God knows you get discouraged from a lot of these things mm -hmm. that are going on. But what we have to understand is he is like that mentor. He's like that father that pulls you through the mess you're going through. He clears the path. Yeah, yeah. some things might get on you. You mm -hmm. know, some rain, some mud, you know, some pain. But what it is, is he's taking you to a place where you're going to be better. That's right. You're okay? going to be better. And here's one thing that I always ask myself, and this could be helpful for you. Ask yourself the question, is this going to matter three hours, three days, three weeks, three months, or even three years from now? Mm -hmm. I use the number three. So it depends on what the situation is, right. whether it can be three hours, three days, three weeks, three months, or three years. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, is it going to matter? Is it going to change the trajectory of our life? If I'm still holding on to this and this is still a problem, that'll help you move forth and move on right. from uh, being so upset or holding a grudge, right. et cetera. It right. would take, tell you, you know what? I'm going to just let this go and it'll mm -hmm. keep you at a certain place of peace That's and right. revisit it at a time when you're both at a better, at a better state. That's right. That's right. I tell you, it's amazing. It's amazing. Make sure you find your peace. It's so important. It is so important. So we hope this has encouraged you and, and inspired you to, to work on the skill set of keeping your peace in your marriage, in your relationship, and even on your job. Because you can't have peace in what's going on around you if you don't have peace inside you. Amen. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our website for more.